Well, what is up, y'all? And welcome or welcome back to another reaction video. The following program it is intended only for mature audiences. No, because baby, look, why Miss Natalie be eating? Because, yes. I run my city from the west side, big to best. I do a day to shite. Queen Louisiana, Dr. Dre, the Los Angeles. This is it, bitch. Michael Misfit. Hot huh? day, a legend and moonwalk. Sliding across the stage in 87. This that Tupac out the window. Both hands throwing up that middle finger. Fuck them other niggas, ratchet bitches. And my demons, yeah, I'm queen. Well, what is up, y'all, and welcome and welcome back to another reaction video. I am your host with the most, Natalie Love, here to give you your comedic commentary on these hit reaction videos. Now, y'all already know how this thing gonna go. Before we get in this video, let me just tell y'all, I cuss, I curse as I do all the things, okay? If that is gonna be an issue for you, go ahead and exit stage left now, all right? Because I don't wanna hear about it in the comments later. This is a reaction video, so then and then for I am gonna react, which means constant pauses, frequent chatter during the video, or whatever okay if you want to see it on your own and be just your basic born motherfucking self you ain't gotta watch it with the love gang we chill okay this is gonna be jack tv will his girlfriend cheat and go home with a random guy at the club okay so i'm letting you know now we don't play no music on this channel huh any music that's playing is my music okay so with that being said if you hear some pauses and mutes that's what the fuck going on, all right? If you okay with all the rules and regulations of the house and you still up under the sound of my voice, that means you ain't okay with what's about to happen here. Huh? Huh? Okay? Since you're a okay with what's about to happen here, do me a few more things. Yes, I'm a needy bitch in a way as such. I need you to like the video. Why? Because it helps us grow. Go ahead on and... Comment on the video to let the love gang know that you have subscribed to the channel. Baby, I don't know what's crip walking in my throat, but it's in there. You understand me? For some reason, I sound like I've been eating Newports. It's probably this vape. I don't need you to say shit. I know what the fuck I do, okay? So with that being said, let me make sure we recording like we always do, child. Bow. Okay, let me move this out the way. And baby, let's go. Welcome back to another episode on Jack. Uh -uh, hold on, Before we hold get on. to this episode, as promised, hold I'm on, to hold on. I got the whole computer on. I got the whole hood with me. I got the whole hood with me. I had the computer on mute. So let's unmute it. Okay, let's start back from the beginning. Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Before we get into this episode, as promised, I will be rewarding Perry with $3,000. We're passing okay. this multi-test on last episode. All right, y'all, okay. as promised today, I'm meeting up with Perry. I don't know if his girlfriend is here too, but we meeting up and we about to go ahead and give him this prize money as promised. Okay, so I don't want to see nothing about, hold on, hold on. I don't want to see nothing about Perry. You good? I'm good. How y'all been? Uh, you know, we've been. Hold on. Okay, let's get into the meat and potatoes, baby. Y'all can go watch all that on your own time. Too much in his opinion. Houston nightlife is one of the best in the country. So when X came to me about his concerns, I admit. Okay, let's go back a little bit more. Uh, so, Battery so we backing up. Of one time. And it's created with technology which helped reduce. Okay, so he manscaping his landscape. Nose holes. Manscaped even threw in two free gifts right. to the performance package for all the Manscaped anti-checking right. boxers all and the shade travel bag. Bring your comfort and boxers to another level. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off free international. You, you had to do all this in the beginning, Jack. That's twenty percent off plus free shipping with promo code. Okay. Yeah. Today, X wants to put his girlfriend into a logic test because she simply goes out entirely too much, in his opinion. Houston nightlife okay. is one of the best in the country, so when Man, X the about his concerns, I immediately understood. Houston nightlife is city, the best. On any given day, you can go out. You will definitely meet someone like Sky. We did one of these tests before where we experienced the nightlife, and yeah, that test was crazy. Uh-uh, uh-uh, there you go. In the club, over, I repeat. Foxy and Boo, Okay. Yo, shit gonna be burned by the time you get my home. You know you're wrong. Okay. Since guys seem to be stuck in the nightlife, we brought back our decoy from another loyalty test that fits this one perfectly, <laughs> Me Carter. X has already fixed the sky schedule. So I wanted to take out asking his girlfriend of her whereabouts. We knew exactly where she would be. He looks like Max here. Hey, we in this black van right here, fool. Right here on the sidewalk? Yeah, right on the sidewalk. What is happening? Um, is, yeah, this the, is this the shit? Okay, Jack. Jack. Uh, let's see when this this was 23 hours ago. This is a fresh video. What the fuck is this new formula, Jack? Get to it. Okay, we already know what's up, yeah, so bro. get to it. I'm finna stick this mic on you real fast. Let me put on your shirt. 
We starting real cool. early. So, bro, how you be knowing she be coming here? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Shit, I just know her schedule on some shit, bro, because she ain't been at home type shit. So sometimes, shit, a nigga get this intuition like, hey, I'm gonna go fucking follow her ass. But she be at this bitch She every ain't been at day. home. And sometimes she ain't at this bitch on the weekends, too, you feel me? So I know what time she pulling up to this bitch and I'll let. So she always come down Washington Avenue? Always on Washington Avenue. Huh? Her fucking partner. How many friends she, she coming with today? Shit, she probably fuck around and be with a uh, brook ass. That's a main ride or die type shit, you feel me? I don't, I don't trust like her, best, her ass. That's bro. her best friend? That's her best friend, bro. I don't trust her <laughs> at all. Okay, so why don't you be going to the clubs with her? If you the reason he don't go to the clubs with her is because he has nine goddamn plants in his head. <clears throat> he has nine plants in his head that are connected by a rubber band. Only thing he missing is some knocker balls and some barrettes. Continue. You feel like this? I be tired from work and shit, you feel me? Sometimes I go vibe out with it and shit like that, but... <laughs> Eat to me, Mario! Shit, shit, shit like you know what I'm asking? Where you work at? Shit, work at Wig Electric type shit, so that shit demanding oh. as fuck, bro. So what electric. Me, so it's electric. It's electric. So my decoy, he's on the way actually right now. Once he get here, y'all just, just meet. I hate that hair. Like going and approaching your girlfriend. And Is that a see, twist you know, out? Like, what, what are you trying to get Let's to? Let's get a card. What's up, y'all? 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 What's up, That could be the reason. Let's continue. Hold on. Let me go. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Carter, this is Tim 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 Turn. Yeah, look at the fuck. That's exactly what he looked like. No misunderstanding and no mishaps. Man. Is there anything you know? Why is your hairline back so far? Shit, just keep your hands off my girl, bro. For real, for real. Damn. Like, shit. Damn. I mean, that's Stop all. If you're trying to get out of the field, is right, or you trying to get out of the. I hope she passed the motherfucker, but oh, she okay. fell. Said, "Hey, I don't need to be dating no hoes. You feel me? So just shit, give it to her. So just be a little bit more. But you already feel like, like she doing hoish like, activities. You don't want him touching her at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I'm confused. Shit, maybe like, that ain't what I heard. Y'all let me know, 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 know in the comments. Shit, maybe I didn't hear that because that ain't why they outside. For sure. Because she stay up and down Washington Avenue. So can you show him a picture of your girl? Overthinking. Goes inside. You know exactly who he's talking to. It's all right though. Okay, yeah, I bet. So she sure, got pink sure. hair, bro. Okay. So what's, what's her name? Sky. Okay, and We're anticipating that <coughs> for her friends, so. And that's the limit. Natural. Don't overdo it, don't underdo it. Just, you got to be right somewhere in the middle. Okay, bet. You know I mean? So, for sure. We're waiting for them to pull up or whatever. And we don't have no way of knowing when they're going to pull up, so we just going to sit here and chill. For this shit sure. crazy, bro. I didn't think I was going to be on this shit, you feel me? Yeah. Well, why not? You so called them, lady. Sky and her friend pulls up to the club and go inside. Once we were able to spot where they were seated, we then briefed Carter on when to go in. At this point, Carter seems pretty confident that X already gave the consent on the do's and don'ts. Because the last thing we need is anything to transpire like last time. Oh, and he traveling How you guys by himself. Going? All right. I do. How are you going? So we weren't able to actually set up a live feed, but we can hear everything that they're saying through Carter's mic. So, uh, those headphones I gave you, you can put those on right now. Carter is making his way in right He ain't now. lying about Houston nightlife, though. Houston nightlife is some shit. You good? You good on audio? Yeah. You good? Yeah. Okay. Come on, loyalty. Can I come through here? Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, they bad right here. Uh-oh, he got on a vest with no shirt. Come on, God. Yeah. Yo, excuse me. How you ladies doing? What's up, baby? How you doing? My name's Carter. Carter. Like Carter. Mr. Wayne Carter. Like Mr. Wayne Carter. I hate that hat. I hate the hat. Hey, What's the name of my son? Carter. Stephon Carter. Oh, she already Stephon talking Carter. too much. What's up, baby? What's your name? She already talking too much if that's the girlfriend with the pink hat on. He just walked in the door. Oh, hey, Carter. What's your heart? Let me have I, 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 bitch. Hey, how you doing? Pay a compliment. Keep it moving. Okay, baby. Your okay, nigga work at the electricity company. She been yeah, 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 yeah. Look very familiar. Your nigga work at the electricity company. Tell that man keep it moving. Hey, Carter. Nice to meet you. Uh huh. Go right back into it. Hey. 
Your man work for the electricity company. Frequent this spot. Fucking friend though. Oh, you don't. Now, granted. Oh, you see a bad influence. Granted. He does look like at any point the Daddy Mac will make you jump, jump. Okay. <laughs> he does look like a member of Criss Cross at his big age. All right. Uh, so if that is the problem, you've probably been able to say something and, you know, tell him to get some scrape backs or something. Go, go to Nipsey Hustle. Check me out. Wait. Do one of them. This is, is childish. And you don't want to say nothing. Because he worked for an electricity company. You don't want to say too much. Ma okay, okay. Let me let it play. Where are you from? Bad influence, bro. She, she got so many niggas. I'm from New Orleans. Fine. She from Saint, I'm from Louisiana. I'm from Louisiana. Yeah, I'm a... Yeah, I'm a mom. Go ahead, get out my car. I don't understand wearing pants own, so tight that they make you bow legged. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand this. Oh, Them pants see? tight. If he farts, you gonna be able to see the bubble travel down his leg. Well, man, I got a little something, you know. I'm doing a little something. I try to do my little thing. So I do a lot of, you know, modeling events, you know, meet and greets, things like that. We do sipping okay. things. I also do massages. Oh, okay. You know what I do when you like, like, she could be on you, but no, 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 she could be on you, and, and like, what you, what you, what you do? Most definitely, yeah, they call new massages. You know massages what the fucking massages are. I slide my body across, you know, across the client. Yeah. Oh. Slick a little thing in it. Slick a little thing in what? Yeah. In the, into the client? Into the client. Oh. I mean, the everything, everything is, you know, it's, I mean, everything is discretion, but you go, hey, look here, listen though, you can definitely find out. You know what I mean? And she's definitely fine. Keep the mind down, friend. Most definitely. Keep the mind down. You can keep your man, baby. It's all private. Just... Okay. 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 But, 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 but. Mm. You didn't say you had a man with your chest. I got a man and, and uh-uh. Sweetie, I have a man. Like, I, I don't know. My representation be a lot different. Hey, how you doing? All right. All right. Thank you. You look good tonight, too, up in your clothes. All right. Have a good one. Uh-huh. Single, baby. Hey. Oh, single, shit. Baby. So single. Let's mingle. What's up? What's your, let me get your number, baby. Give me your number, baby. What's your number? Okay. She's going to get it. I'll tell it to her. She said she's single. Yeah. I knew that shit, bro. That's why I like her hanging around her, bro. Your thing with it. Okay, Mr. Carter. And if you guys feel S K Y I E, okay. She ain't failed no motherfucking way. She ain't tripping. Can you touch it? Of course. You want to touch it? Come on, baby. My battery did. I was wondering what was happening. Okay, yeah, no. No, you're not saying it with your whole chest. Please hurry up and get Michael Phelps off the screen. You ain't said it with your chest. And now I think at this point, are we touching? Are we touching? Oh, she, he's, she's letting her. Okay. So he not touching her, but she is touching him. I don't think this is Sky. I think this is Sky. And I hope this ain't Sky because she doing a whole lot of talking. I hope this ain't the single friend, but I believe this is the friend that said something about her being single. I'm still a little confusion at who Sky is, but if this is Sky, she's a problem. She way too goddamn friendly. And it ain't nothing wrong with being friendly when you go out, but the touching and shit, no. Too much conversation, uh-uh. Especially if he ain't here. Nuh-uh. Nah. Right. Yeah, I gotta, you know. Yeah, he like the... Uh, he, got, he got a lot of this one right there. I can only imagine. Yeah, and I like the she does. Well, thank but you, beautiful. Yeah, she ain't got no man. It don't matter. Don't okay. Listen. It's what they say? It's complicated. It's complicated. Oh, okay. Listen. Okay, so Scott the one that talked too much. <laughs> and then she got a partner that's willing to put her off on her there. And your man worked for the electric company. Okay, so somebody lying. So, cause, cause what, what is it to the point to where she go out every night? And I, Houston go out is go out, okay? She's going out every night with this person that you don't care too much to go, and then she's willing to put him, put her on a dude. Okay. Okay. For sure. So y'all gonna be here for a little minute? Okay. 
I mean, we could do something privately, baby. You know what I mean? Like a, like a massage. You know, uh -huh. like a massage from Carter. <coughs> Man, I could get all them knots out for you, baby. Right now, you want something right now? Don't touch her. Demonstrate. All right, like a, just a little bit, all right? Just, just a little bit. Don't touch her. Science you. therapy. The front. <laughs> he really do that for real too. He really do that for real too. <laughs> she said, right. he about to give her a massage. See? 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 Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, just... Yeah, let me grab a little drink, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I gotta call, check the pen, I gotta call, you gotta pen, baby. You good, look. Look, I got your... Look, I got your number. I, I like what I see. Listen. You know what I mean? I'm going to let you contact That shit is you. You weird. my number on the fly. I'm going to see y'all at a show probably, and then we're going to get... Shit like that with bitches is weird. That's just like somebody coming up, hey, can you tell her I want your number? I don't need you to do no interference for me. If you going to do dirt like this, bitch, and no, I'm not condoning cheating, okay? If you going to do dirt, though, be willing to fly solo. Shit like that will get you caught the fuck up. Any mess you in, put yourself in that shit so you can get yourself the fuck out of it. Because she ain't going to be no help. Hell no. Nah. Do your dirt alone. This test was almost blown when a random customer in the club walked up and interfered with the conversation. I thought our cover was blown, but luckily Ricardo was able to stay hidden. Okay, so he's saying he about to go get some drinks. Will he go inside? Just go pop up and act like you just wanted to come? Just came from the crib. Yeah, but just like don't shit. do it just yet. Just wait till he... Till and he real nonchalant. Oh, so you fucking I'm over him in real life. life. Since things seemed to be moving so smoothly and we didn't want to lose the momentum, we decided on a spot to send X in as a surprise to his Oh, uh, he just, he just stuck in the 90s. Worse than me. Uh-oh, standing up there looking like one of the DeBarges. Fuck with you. Baby. Uh, I bought a home, you feel me? Don't be popping up on her like that. So are y'all fucking? Because I ain't catch the steel clear enough, but just from this face alone. Why are you that bothered? But then again, whatever pisses her off about him. She calls immediately and tells her. So when they get back cool, she still remember the shit that she called and told her. Keep your business to yourself, people. You ain't telling me this girl's night. Why are you still talking? my girl. You always got your shit to say, bro. You always got I don't know why the fuck. I don't know why the fuck you said hang out with her anyway. Shit. It shouldn't even get that far. Can I go? Why do you want me to go so bad? And the nerve to be built like that. God forgive me. Okay. I ain't going nowhere. So I want to chill for a second. So I can't take a shot with you right quick. So you, you take location and you pop up. I'm saying we share location. Yeah, for you know that? I, I, I don't like her yeah, motherfucking call friend. Her what you want. I ain't talking to your ass. I don't know. I used to talk to okay. Right. <clears throat> and why the fuck you can't, can't do no better? Like, like, you can't stop that, that shit? Yeah. Oh, hey, who going? Then you talking about it's girls night. Nigga, it's 12 senior citizens, Carter, y'all, and the niggas that work the dough. What time do the turn up start? And then y'all are in Texas, somewhere they got American flags hanging from the ceiling. Baby, y'all this close from not supposed to be there y'all damn self. The fuck? I wouldn't, Somebody you wouldn't even have to worry about me. Oh, yeah, I'll leave. Okay, Guaranteed, if she live with me, your shit will be gone. And if I live with her, I'm going to be gone, however the fuck it works. What kind of tequila you want? Get your, get your bottom shelf tequila, nigga. I'm going to fuck with you. Not too much of my 
What you want to drink? I'll get you something to drink. Cranberry. Cranberry. Hey, wait till I get Thank you. Thank you. All right. You never told me what kind of drink you want there. Cranberry juice. Cranberry? Oh, you didn't say the truth. Hey. Well, well, well. What do you have? Yikes! <laughs> Yikes! Hey, sexy. Yeah, nah, she's a op. <laughs> that bitch is a villain. How the fuck you know your family? I just got the hold up. Hold up, hold up. No, don't play with me like that. I just got your number. I just gave you my number. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What the fuck you mean? That's her number right here. Hey, right, hey, hold up. Call her ass right now, nigga. Oh, I'm telling you. Well, I'm finna, I'm finna look. the fuck out of this bitch, nigga. No, hey. you're not, and that's hey, what bro, she know. Yeah, the nigga, number from the ball, my nigga. This how we get down out here. Bro. Babe, let that good ass man go to somebody else that can fix him. Hey, back your ass up, nigga. I'm talking to her. Hey, my nigga. Now, I'm telling you, I got the number. So you been a thot out here, bro? What the fuck? Is this like the ideal friendship? Because if me and my nigga talking, excuse me. <clears throat> if me and my husband talking, even when he was my nigga, shut your bitch ass up. I don't give a fuck whose side you on. This ain't got shit to do. Mind your business. This ain't got shit to do with you. This here. Find you something safe to do, baby. Go find you something safe to do. <clears throat> Don't get in the middle of the danger zone. It, like, is this an ideal friend? Do y'all like shit like this? Like, is, is this a thing? Because I don't want no bitch to have this much involvement in shit I do. Nothing. To where you start speaking for me. I have a problem with that. Hey, fuck that shit, nigga. Hey, you act like I got hoes out here or something, nigga. What the fuck you got? Shit. Shit, what the fuck that mean? I got a job. I said it. Somebody lying. So either you do or don't work for an electricity company. She done been pissed off about the fact that she done had to do all of something. And she done called and told her. And for whatever reason, as long as she is looking like Lisa Leslie, she don't feel that she's able to say it to you. So she's allowing her because this is the pit bull right here. She's allowing her to go to fuck off on you. Ain't no way. Hey, no, nigga, I work 12 hours a day type shit, nigga. What the fuck you mean? I came up here, nigga, because I already don't trust your ass. Then you on Facebook. I seen that nigga in your Facebook DM, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I put, I got the location at your phone, nigga. I sent your location to my phone, nigga. I fuck all that. Hey, man, I ain't talking about that, nigga. Hey, I ain't worried about that, nigga. You focus on He's a massage therapist. Bitch, if all you doing every night is going to fuck out, what kind of kinks you need work? the fuck out some twerk knots bitch when you're going out every night you obviously loose as a goose don't get me started bitch you obviously limber than a motherfucker y'all already know what i'm finna say and if you don't you got to be new bitch i got arthritis okay and if i get the season and send you the fuck up and these limbs say no i'm not going to no motherfucking club bar hookah lounge lounge Scenery, cigar bar. I don't want to be nowhere but at bedside Baptist. So what the fuck you need a massage therapist for? Huh? He ain't got no business card. Did you get one of them? Oh, no. You put your number in his phone after you got a sample of the massage. Okay.
Carry on. Calm your ass down. No, you calm your ass down. Hey, I'm, stop I'm talking to this to nigga. Why the fuck you talking to this nigga? Because she's a grown woman. Because she can talk. Hey. You are insecure. She can can she talk, talk to him? Hey, can she talk for hey, herself? Hey, I won't. Ain't insecure about me, nigga. For real. What the fuck is this? For real, nigga. nigga. Oh, I do like that outfit. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Hey, my nigga, I don't trust you, my nigga. And I see it's a reason I don't trust you, right? nigga. You ain't been shit, nigga. How the fuck you been? Hey, look here, my nigga. Calm your ass down, my nigga, for real. Hey, calm your ass down, my nigga. Hey, don't worry about him, my nigga. You need to focus on why the fuck you getting... You obviously don't know nobody out there, your man included. You don't know who you supposed to stick up for. You don't know whose side you supposed to be on. You don't know nobody out there but this bitch. The goddamn loudspeaker. Huh? You don't know nobody out there but Bullhorn. The niggas numbers out here and shit. Hurry up. Why the fuck you getting niggas numbers out here and shit? And massage therapists because they know what the and you know what, nigga? If you want to fuck me, you can fuck me. This shit say she like the fucking dancers. Right. For real, my nigga? So you, so you, so you out here being a hoe? So you a hoe? So you being a hoe? So she out here being a hoe, my nigga, for real? I'm out here dating hoes and shit, bro. That's a motherfucking bet, bro. Yeah, you are. Nah, fuck that, nigga. Hey. Are we done and we finished? Dumb. Ask the fuck. Man, you can go do what the fuck you want to do, nigga. Fuck that shit, nigga. For real, dog. You out here being a All this smoke and speak. Look at her face. The fact if now we know a lot of these done been scripted, okay? And this may be one by far one of the best ones, with the exception of a few. Still hooked anyway, Jack TV, so don't give a fuck about what I give a fuck about. But her facial expressions have her back. Have her back. Cause her character is her character is believable as fuck. Her character is on my motherfucking nerves. Have her back. I fuck with her. I don't fuck with her, but I fuck with her because she's believable because I dislike her. Like, shut the fuck up. Get somewhere and sit down. Plus, I love her outfit. But other, have her back because she is selling this character. Selling. Because I don't like this bitch. The fact that she has more words to say to the cameraman the nigga whose job ain't to speak to you. He is literally a walking camera. His job ain't to talk to you. The nigga that's out there that deserves your conversation, you ain't said nothing yet to. The whole incident. Of value. Okay, you gonna respect me because you're not being a whole You're being insecure. You out here talking about you wanna fuck, nigga. You just You're insecure. You just told the man that he can fuck you. So that pussy for everybody. Calm down. So that pussy. Everybody basically. That's a bad bro. The battery. Ain't, bro. None. She for the streets. You and you both y'all niggas for the streets. Yeah, yeah for real. Dead ass. What? Shit. Let me get the fucking coin. All right. Oh, he, he I'm gonna drive the hell the rest of the fucking. I'm gonna no, leave your ass here. Matter of fact, nigga, take your ass. Let that nigga take you home. Let that nigga take you home. Since you wanna be a thot. Since you wanna be a thot, let that nigga take you home, then my nigga, for real, for real. Okay. Wait a minute. Put a roof over your head. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Right. Okay. Yeah, I knew it. He's childish. He don't pay no motherfucking bills, and nine times out of ten, he don't work for real. Because ain't no way in hell you got a man that work at the electricity company. And this is the behavior you allowing. Ain't no way in hell you got a man supplying all of your needs working as an electrician. And he getting more vibes out of this bitch. He's getting more of a conversation out of this bitch. He's getting more of a response out of this bitch. The person he ain't fucking because she has all the animosity that you've been giving to her about your relationship. So you cool because you done got that shit off your back. Now it's her time to shine. So you lied about working at the electricity company, baby. It's the reason when a woman feels that comfortable to disrespect you. And that's because you're not bringing something to the motherfucking table. And I'm not, I'm not justifying her actions at all. Because if that's the case, bitch, be woman enough to say, hey, look here. If you can't pay the fee, you can't fuck with me. And going on about your business. 
Why make this be the way that to get a motherfucker up off of you is to break their heart into pieces. Instead of just breaking their heart right there, hey, look, you're not willing to supply what the fuck I need. You can't do it adequately and sufficiently. I appreciate you, but get yourself together. And if we happen to pass motherfucking, pass ways, pass, pass, there, there's no, no telling what difference a fucking day makes. If we happen to cross paths again, that's what I was looking for. Damn. If we happen to cross paths again and you got yourself together, come holler at me, but not a moment too late. Period. Ain't nothing, ain't no shame or motherfucking blame in having a requirement. And if a motherfucker being able to at least meet you halfway, hey, I don't want no motherfucking person that can throw that shit up in my face. Oh, I'm providing a roof. You driving my car. Pride yourself on being more independent than that for yourself, not even for the sake of nobody else. If you can't do the bare minimum for yourself, such as feed yourself, Purchase toiletries. Get yourself back and forth and provide shelter at a certain motherfucking age. You do not need to inquire another motherfucking responsibility that you cannot handle because the main responsibility, you can't handle that one either. You're taking on too much. Right. And disrespect be the outcome. Instead of Scott having a conversation. One more time, I'm going to throw it in there. If you have, and I think I said this on the live the other day. Ain't no such thing as free living. Hmm? This shit done quickened my spirit. <clears throat> you either going to pay with ass, cash, dignity, self-respect, or that motherfucking pride that you're trying to cling on to. Do you want to sacrifice that shit to be able to do and say for yourself? Or to be able to do and say for somebody else just to say you got somebody else. But you don't have shit else but another person. If that person perishes, disappears, fall off the face of the earth, you don't have nothing to give to your fucking self. You have no way to provide or do for yourself. And he just admitted, oh yeah, I'm going to leave you up here in your car. I'm going to drive the fuck away in your shit. That ain't no flex, homeboy. Now you look soft as fuck. You look weak. You look stupid, really, for even going along with that shit. And then taking accountability for her actions tonight, she began to act really sarcastically towards the situation as if she didn't even care. So I really didn't bother to interfere until we were all ready to go. I don't know if it's an act. Well, the whole thing is an act, but. Hey, nigga, no. She talking to me, nigga. Man, fuck all that shit, nigga. But why is she damn near putting in her putting her into a fucking submission hole? This bitch is putting you into a full Nelson, pushing you away from your a nigga that got your car keys. I can have any I want out here, nigga, for real. Dead ass, nigga. Shit, you wanna get that away? Go get one. Go get two. Go get three. You wanna get that pussy to everybody? She ain't drunk. She just sat the fuck down. Fuck him. And fuck him too. You for the fucking streets, my nigga. She for the fucking streets, my nigga. Well, let us know. Motherfucking bet. That shit crazy. You ain't gonna see that motherfucking car tonight either, that nigga. That crazy. X came to me feeling the way, and his test proved he wasn't. That's not a flex, beloved. That's called Grand Theft Auto, what you're about to do. If that's her shit, and she called them people, and she ain't in it, if she got low jack or a kill switch, you out of there. <laughs> That's not a flex to tell somebody you're not giving them that back they possession. That's not a flex. That's thieving. That's thievery. That's stealing. There's no flex at all to telling somebody, oh, I'm not, you're not going to see that car tonight. Bitch ass nigga, that's my shit. There's no argument about that. I'm not leaving here without it. And wrong. So I pulled X to the side before we left and we had a little conversation. Well, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was lost for work because it was just Crazy as fuck, so bro. toxic, bro. So, bro, I'm sorry that shit happened. You don't deserve that shit. And you seen her smiling and laughing and shit. That's because I asked embarrassed as fuck. That's what the fuck she doing. She's, She's not embarrassed. embarrassed. Like, she had a drink. I wouldn't even blame that shit on liquor. Like, nah, that ain't no motherfucker. That was liquor. crazy. Shit. She for the streets. It's all good. I can do better than that. You feel me? Most definitely. Can you? I appreciate y'all niggas for nah, real. Sure, bro. Bro.
If you need anything else, bro, just let me know. Oh, man, I appreciate y'all. Fuck with y'all, bro. Fuck with y'all, bro. At the end of the day, this loyalty test actually went a lot smoother than I anticipated because y'all already know when we stake out, it takes way more time than this. And anything could have happened. They could have got too intoxicated. So overall, this test went a lot smoother than I expected. All right, y'all. Another loyalty test in the books, man. We was able to help X. Unfortunately, he didn't get the results he was looking for. But until next time, man, jack off. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I like that one. That one was pretty good. But yeah, don't sell yourself short like that. And even if, even if he may be a person that fell on bad times, it's a lot of motherfuckers out there that request something that they're not willing to give. You want a man to you, a child, I'm finna go into a whole tangent. You know what? We're, another video for another day. If y'all want me to elaborate on what I was about to say, let me know. Okay? But yeah. No, no, another thing, another thing for another day, baby. We on to the next reaction video because I will go off about shit like this. I don't like this. I don't like for people to be abused in such a way. And I've never been a fan of kicking nobody while the fuck they down. If that man was up when you got with him and all of a sudden he fell down, he shouldn't have became the topic of discussion between you and your motherfucking homegirl. If you willing to love, that's why a lot of motherfucking people don't need to be married. Because shit like that happens. Where you may marry a motherfucker and he, and he doing good. He got everything going, shelling money out. But all of a sudden, something happens. A lot of y'all like to date D-boys and shit. There's an other side to getting that money. Sometimes you have to spend that money to get that money. So when that nigga goes on that decline, where the fuck are you going to be? Are you going to be willing to go get a goddamn job to see to it that he can get back up so you can quit that bitch? Quiet? Are you going to be able to do that for so long? Because a lot of people expect a man to do all this shit and work mule his motherfucking self. But when that nigga fall down on his motherfucking knees or he needs your help, all of a sudden he's a problem and he's a topic of discussion for you and your homegirls. I don't understand it, y'all, but I'm going to see y'all in the next one. I love y'all. Thank you again for tuning in. And until next time. Bye.